Now, would you, uh, from time to time, ever stay over at Eric and Lyle's house? <coughs> yes, I did. And do you recall, basically, whether there was a pattern to this? I mean, what types of days, what days of the week would you stay well, over? It was mostly on the weekends. And do you know over what age, your age, would you stay over at Eric and Lyle's house? Well, it varied between ages. Uh, I would say between my ages of 8 and 10 years old it was the times that I most often was able to go over his house. And after that it was less frequent? That's right. When you were 10 years old, how old was Eric? He was 12 and a half. That's right. Now, were there occasions when your cousin Eric ever stayed at your house? Very few times. I can only recall one. Do you recall a time when your cousin Eric was playing at your house where in the course of your time together he told you something you had not heard before? Yes, I do. And can you first tell us um, where were you guys physically when this play began? Okay, uh, what I recall is this. Uh, like I said before, this is one of the few times that he was able to come to my house uh, for any activities. Uh, and this particular time, uh, I remember it being winter time, and there were fields behind my house, agricultural fields. Uh, and they would, it would be a field and then a strip of woods, and then there would be another field and another strip of woods and so on and we were back in the fields. Okay, and you were playing some kind of game in the fields behind your house? That, that's right, we had toy guns and we were pretending like we were running from an army. We would play war games pretty often. What was the name of this particular game, do you remember? Well, I just remember we were running from the Russians. I don't know if to call it that game or not, but... Uh, but that's what you were pretending? That's, that's what we were pretending at the time. And at some point, while you were pretending to run from the Russians, did something happen that made the two of you take cover or hide? Yes. What happened? Okay. Uh, there was a farmer uh, that owned the fields, I guess, and I had heard stories from other neighborhood kids and so on that uh, he was pretty mean to people that passed by the fields or would play in the fields. And uh, that time there was a helicopter. and. We thought that it was him. And a the helicopter, helicopter, you mean, was flying? It was flying over us, and it seemed very close to us. And we, we thought for sure that it was the farmer spotting people on the fields. And we, I was very scared, and I definitely told him about it, so we started running. And <clears throat> where did you get to? Well, we got to the woods, and then we decided that we were going to run. We were going to split up and we were gonna run to a tree uh, in another patch of woods, a couple fields afterwards that we both knew about and we were gonna run and meet at the tree. Okay, and did you run and meet at the tree? Yes, we did. And did you spend some time at the tree hiding from the farmer? Yes. And during the time that you were at the tree hiding from the farmer, did Eric begin <clears throat> a conversation with you? Yes. And do you recall how the conversation began. Well, yes I do. Okay, would you tell us how it began? He asked me if uh, my dad ever gave me massages. And did you understand at that point what he meant? No, I didn't. And do you recall basically what your response to him was? Well, uh, at that point, I got the feeling, uh, I'm sure he let me know this, but uh, he was actually trying to find out if any of these massages were normal. And I, my response to him was that I wouldn't know. I didn't have a father around. My parents were divorced then. And uh, I really couldn't help him. Let me ask you this. He asked you whether your father gave you massages? That's right. Did you you said he was trying to find out if it was normal. Was there something else he told you about the massages? Like where they were? Yes, he did. Okay. 
What did he say about where the massages were? Well, he told me his father was massaging his dick. And he used that word? Yes, he did. And he was asking you some kind of question about this kind of behavior? He was, seemed like he was reaching out to me. Objection, speculation. Sustained. See if we can reconstruct this, Mr. Conner. First he asks you, does your dad give you massages, something like that? That's right. And then do you ask him anything, like what kind of massages? What do you mean by massages? I'm sure I did. And then he tells you that he's talking about his dad massages his dick or does something to his dick, is what he tells you? That's right. So then does he ask you again, does this happen to you or anything like that? Yes. He, uh at that point, we were both trying to figure out whether what was happening to him was normal. He okay. wanted to know that if this happened to every kid with uh, a father and son relationship, and I couldn't help him. I didn't have a father around. So you said, I, I don't know, my dad's not here? That's right. Okay. Said something to that effect. Okay. And what else is said as best you can remember in the course of this particular conversation? Well, what uh, I do remember very specifically was him asking me to make a promise to him never to reveal that to anybody. And uh, he was saying it very seriously, and I took it very seriously. Had you suggested at any point in the conversation revealing it to someone or telling someone or asking someone about it? Well, at that point, I was wondering myself, and I really wanted to ask my mother if that was normal. Did you six mention that to Eric? Yes, I did. And was it after that that he made your promise? I don't remember. It, uh, it was probably after that, yes. So you told him, I don't know if it's normal, why don't I ask my mom, something like exactly. that? Exactly. And what did he say to you when you <coughs> suggested asking your mother? He told me never to reveal it to anybody to promise him that I would keep it a secret between us. Now, were there any other times that you were with your cousin Eric when this topic of massages with his father came up? There were several times, I recall. And do you remember where these conversations came up? Yes, I do. In his bedroom in the Pennington house. And were on these occasions when you were visiting or sleeping over or something else? Most likely sleeping over. I remember most of them took place at night. And do you remember anything about, uh, first of all, the, the next time it came up? Do you have any idea of when that was in relation to this winter time when you were playing running from the Russians? I'm sorry? When was the next time? Do you have any idea? Well, it uh, was probably a month later. Why do you uh, that say that? That would be that? My, my best. Day. Because I remember it not being exactly later, but it wasn't too far along the road. It was definitely probably about a month's time that had passed. Did you see your cousin Eric more frequently than once or twice a month at this time? No. And do you recall generally what the topic was the next time it came up? Well, it was sort of a continuation of the conversation we had in the woods, uh, just basically contemplating on whether it was normal or not. Okay. And was there anything else that occurred in this conversation that you can remember? Did Eric ask you anything? Well, I remember he told me again never to tell anybody. And uh, I brought it up again that maybe he should uh, let me ask my mother. And uh, I remember him replying no. And I asked him why didn't he let uh, his mother know or ask his mother. You know. Do you remember what he said when you asked why didn't he ask his mother? Yes, I do. What did he say? He said that uh, she would get mad at his father. Now, do you recall 
a subsequent occasion, another occasion when this topic was being discussed between you and Eric, where he gave you some additional information about what was going on. Yes. And uh, can you recall that, you know, tell us what you can remember of that okay. conversation? What I can remember of that conversation uh, is very little, but uh, I do remember very well that he explained to me that the, these massages that his father was giving him were beginning to hurt. And do you remember whether or not you understood what that meant? Or? I definitely didn't understand. And did, do you recall whether or not you tried to gather any information about why massages were hurting? I would imagine I did, but uh, I don't remember. Okay. Did you ask Eric straight out, why does it hurt, or how does it hurt, or what is he doing that's making you hurt? If I did, I don't remember. Okay. And you don't remember his ever elaborating on it? No. <laughs> He didn't tell you anything about tacks or needles or ropes or anything no, like that? No, he didn't. Were you familiar with uh, a nickname that your cousin Eric used to refer to himself at about this same time? Yes, I did. And what was that nickname? It was Hurt Man. Now, did he express to you in this last conversation um, his desire with respect to these massages with his father, what he wanted. What his father wanted? No, what Eric wanted. What Eric wanted? Uh, yeah, he told me he wanted him to stop. Uh, I remember that being the last conversation that I remember. <coughs> and was there any further discussion uh, with him about your knowing about this? I'm sorry, can you Okay, say in this last conversation, was there any further discussion with Eric about your knowing about what was going on with him and his dad? Well, it was very clear that he wanted to, to keep it as a secret between us and that I was never going to reveal that to anybody. And I had promised him, I had swore to him that I wouldn't. Uh, but he definitely seemed nervous. Seemed nervous about what, Mr. Connell? That I might tell somebody. From what you had observed in the family, did it appear to you that Eric was afraid of his father? Yes. Were you afraid of his father? I was. 